Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best Android Samsung tablet. Starting at number 5. Lenovo Yoga Tab 13. The Lenovo Yoga Tab 13 is a bit different to most tablets, and that helps it stand out. While the Slate works brilliantly as a conventional tablet, it also has a built-in stand, so you can prop it up without a case, and there's a micro HDMI port, so you can easily use it as a second screen for a laptop or other device, two features which we found very useful. The Lenovo Yoga Tab 13 also has an enormous speaker by tablet standards, making it great for anything involving audio. Beyond that, you get a big 13-inch 1350 by 2160 screen, a moderately powerful Snapdragon 870 chipset, and a respectable amount of storage. What you don't get, in another unusual move, is a rear camera, but then tablets are never ideal for taking photos anyway, and we also found the design made it hard to use with a case. Still, if a kickstand or micro HDMI are important to you then this is the Android tablet to get. Coming at number 4. Amazon Fire HD 10 Plus. It might not be the best of the bunch for Android tablets, but the Amazon Fire HD 10 Plus, 2021, has a lot going for it thanks to its attractive 10.1-inch display with a 1920 by 1200 resolution. That means it's ideal for watching your favorite movies or shows, especially as we also found that it manages around 12 hours of battery life, so you won't run out of juice at a pivotal moment. In our review, we were also fairly impressed with the speakers for the money, so this is a capable budget media machine. Storage is limited at either 32GB or 64GB and we'd like speedier performance in an ideal world, as the chipset was a little bit dated even at launch, but at this price, it's not bad at all. At number 3. Google Pixel Tablet. The Google Pixel Tablet comes with Google's tablet-optimized version of Android. It's a pleasure to use, as the company has built out a suite of apps that now work well with large screen devices and tablets, including the Google suite of apps, its entertainment apps like YouTube, Google Play apps, and more. The tablet is powered by Google's custom Tensor G2 chip that you'll find in the Pixel 7a, 7, and 7 Pro as well. This processor provides plenty of power for even the most demanding tasks. The screen is 11 inches, albeit IPS LCD and not OLED, and has a resolution of 2560 by 1600 pixels. It's worth noting that there's number 90 or 120 Hz refresh rate, which is a shame. Even the cheaper Pixel 7a comes with a 90 Hz display. The speaker dock has four speakers that produce rich, immersive sound when playing music or watching video. As with other Pixels, this tablet receives regular security updates and software updates from Google. You'll get Android 14 the minute it's ready, the same will hold for Android 15 and 16 as well. Number 2 of my list. Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra is the ultimate Android tablet, just like its predecessor. It comes with polished One UI software that takes advantage of its big and beautiful 14.6-inch screen, and the included S Pen stylus and optional keyboard should make this a great device for creating artwork, editing documents, taking notes, and other productivity tasks. For a tablet of this size, the display is its selling point. It is massive, sure, but it is also beautiful at 1848 by 2960 resolution and smooth at a 120 Hz refresh rate. It packs a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy chipset with up to 16 GB of RAM, and the storage goes up to 1 TB. In other words, this really, really wants to convince you it can replace your laptop. And number 1. OnePlus Pad. OnePlus's first tablet was impressive with some of the perks we expect from OnePlus phones. It integrates with both OnePlus and Oppo phones, ships with Android 13, has a sharp and bright LCD display with a 144Hz refresh rate, a large battery, and 67W superfast charging. 
However, we found it was held back by the performance that wasn't quite as speedy as what you could get on the best phones. It uses a MediaTek Dimensity 9000, a chip that's a step down from the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 that most of the top Android phones, the OnePlus 11 included, use. This meant that for some tasks like using Adobe Lightroom, there was enough lag that it would be annoying. Due to the relatively weak premium Android tablet market, the OnePlus also didn't offer separate storage offerings. It did, however, come with a lovely green shade that we praised in our review. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.